We'll go ahead on and get started. Uh, we left off in Proverbs, the fourth chapter, uh, verse four. Yeah. Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verse four. Uh, we give honor to God, the Father, to Jesus Christ, the Son, and to the precious Holy Ghost, uh, to all that are here, those that are on their way, be it to God's speed. Thank God for another day. Amen. Today we haven't seen before, and when it's over, we won't see it again. Amen. Uh, Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verse four. Let us repeat the Lord's prayer, and we'll get started. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Proverbs, the fourth chapter, uh, verse four, ends uh, dealing with the instructions of a father, whether it be the father or mother uh, giving instruction. We all can attest, we all can relate to uh, an adult giving us instructions. So we as children, we should take heed when someone is trying to uh, give us some wisdom. Verse four, five, and six. Verse six, verse six, and verse six through, I'm sorry, verse five, verse five through verse 27 to the end of the chapter. It deals with get understanding and avoid evil. Uh, verse four, five, and six. He taught me also and said unto me, let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, Forget it not, neither decline from the word of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall receive thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Amen. Next, three. Seven, seven, eight, nine. Listen to the trusted thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all that they, with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee honor when thou don't embrace her. Do is that. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's do is or does it. Mm -hmm. okay. She shall give to thy head a limit of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Next three. Yeah, O Father, Son, and Man, receive my prayer, and who hear of me, my dear, who hear me. I have told him to be the word of the Lord, way of the Lord. I have made this word like play. Hey, like pass. Straighten. Here in in our lesson, uh, verse four says, "He taught me also." And said unto me, you know, one thing for sure, verse three and four, it deals with <clears throat> getting wisdom from a previous generation, and we 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 all can uh, attest to that. It's just like saying to the, uh, she'll get wisdom from Sister T. Sister T, she'll get wisdom from Mama and Daddy, or even from grandparents or your great-grandparents, or we can get 
wisdom from someone that's older than we are. Uh, I, I know uh, you hear a lot of people say, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather hang out with older people. I'd rather sit around with older people because they, they share wisdom with you. They ain't, they ain't doing all that foolishness. They ain't talking about all that foolishness that, that certain generations are talking about. So you can get wisdom from different generations. And they'll guide you in the right way. Uh, well, they should. They mean somebody. Uh, for I was my father's son in verse 3 says, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. Verse 4 says, he taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my word. So we need to really pay close attention to when someone is trying to give us wisdom. Amen. Amen. But oftentimes it's, it's so easy to turn a deaf ear because we don't want to hear. Amen. We, 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 especially when we grow on, we want to do our own thing. We, you know, we, we want to learn things our own way. Sometimes we think we are right but we don't want to hear what nobody else got to say. Keep my commandments and live. Uh, to, to keep the commandment is to listen attentively. Like I said, you really got to pay attention. You really you really ought to listen to somebody. Have anybody ever came up to you and said, baby, listen to me when I, yeah, when I said this. I'm trying to tell you right from wrong. I want you to go down the wrong path. You know, some people can see you going down the wrong path or doing something wrong or whatever you are doing, and they want to stop you from doing the same thing that they did. Amen. And to keep the commandments, we ought to keep God's word. We ought to do his will. <clears throat> we ought to keep his commandment and obey. His word. Uh, oftentimes, we in, in 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 the scriptures and stuff, we we like to take the part that fits us or that's comfortable to us, but yet that part which we are not for sure about, we oftentimes stray away from it. But we should keep God's commandment at all possibility. We ought to obey Him. Verse five says. Verse 5 says, get wisdom. And that word get is symbolic or like when you go buy something, when you're going to purchase something. It, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing what we will spend money on. Amen. Have you ever, have you ever just sit back and look at what certain things, some of the things you spend money on? You know, we, we, we work hard for our money. And we should be able to enjoy life. But what is really important to us? What should be real important to us? Scripture says, get wisdom. If you get wisdom, wisdom will keep you from falling in the ditch. Wisdom will keep you from making so many mistakes. Amen. So it says, it says, it says, get wisdom. Not only get wisdom, but get understanding. I, I want, I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this. Uh, all the time, you can get an instruction. You be trying to. Have y'all ever tried to put a puzzle together and just throw all of the pieces out on the table? You, you probably can. You'll look at the box and stuff, but if you read the instruction on how to put something together. It's a whole lot easier than you just going by what it looked like. I see, I seen a commercial. I seen a commercial where you see a lot of commercial where this where this man he's sitting there trying to fix a leaking water faucet, and his, his wife said, "You better answer that. Better what? Better answer that. So sometimes sometimes you got to get somebody who know what they're doing, or go by the instruction of it. So." We have to get wisdom and get understanding. Then you'll know how to do a thing a whole lot better. Amen. Forget it not. 
neither decline from the words of my mouth. Saying all your purchases and all your getting, you should get understanding. If you get understanding of a thing, somebody could tell you, go down here, go out here to the end of the road, turn right, and go to this main house over here and knock on the door and ask them, can you borrow a cup of sugar? You go out to the highway, you go, what he said? What he said, turn next. Let me call him and ask him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you get an understanding of a thing, you will come out better in life. It'll make life a whole lot easier. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. One thing about wisdom and understanding, it'll keep you. The benefit of wisdom will keep you from trouble. How many times have you was told not to do something and you did it anyway? And then you go, oh, have mercy. I wish I had to listen. I wish I, wish I had to listen to, I, I, you know, I wish I hadn't did this and I wish I hadn't done that. Wisdom, wisdom, if you don't forget it, it'll keep you then you got to love her and 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 she shall keep you it's nothing like being kept by the lord the benefit of you being in god's will and keeping god's commandment is that he'll keep you safe from all harm won't allow you to go down a dangerous path a dangerous road or allow you to do something that you ain't got no business doing that's what wisdom does for you Wisdom is the principal thing. Out of all the getting you can get, you know, it's not about being smart. You can get all the education you want, but if you don't have wisdom and knowledge and understanding, as the old saying, you, you just you just the dumb as a don't know. Yeah, yeah. So so wisdom is the principal thing that we ought to get. Wisdom is the principal. It's the most important thing that we should get. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting. You get wisdom first. After you get wisdom, you got to get an understanding. So what is more important to you? Money? Everybody won't be rich. How about money? Everybody, everybody. And it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. One point something billion. And 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 one point, one point two. yeah, one billion point two hundred million. And and you know, we'll do everything we possibly can to get rich, to get wealthy. It was a conversation. We were having a conversation about about a nice house, uh a nine hundred thousand dollar house. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, have mercy. What am I doing wrong? Can you imagine living in a house that costs a million dollars? What you want a house? <laughs> I mean, if you got if you got one point two billion, you can afford it. You you, you won't want that much. I mean, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't but six bedrooms. I mean, it's, it's nice. It's lavish. It's a lot of house. The one that they built down here on the road down here, you know, it's kind of, look kind of small, but if you look at it, it's a house. I'm pretty sure it got three or four bedrooms, so forth and so on. Then it looked like he got three garages or so, and then it looked like it's another uh, another piece on it, maybe like a mother, mother-in-law suite or something. But after all that, he got a big garage down where he keep the tractor and stuff, I guess, and it's another like a big garage. But then he got all that land. I 
<laughs> so, oh, yeah. So I mean, you got to get, don't get older. Get that's older. the part we don't get. We were just talking don't about. Do, yeah, we were just talking about that. I mean, deep. You know, it's a blessing. I stopped by and, and visit Sister Nelene. Sister Nelene uh, celebrating her birthday today. Ninety-three. God bless them. But the older you get, you don't want all of that. Don't need all of it, especially when you talk about walking up and down stairs. Lord, no. I got three stairways. One of them, I don't go down. If, well, yep. Two of them, I don't even go down if I don't have to. I said, over the period of time, you just you get to the point where you don't want stuff like that. You know, it bad enough coming up the porch. Porch got probably about ten steps. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know, you go like, ah, yeah. Then you got to go up the steps to go in. There. I go like, Kim, you know, they got that. Y'all seen that commercial? They got that. They got that elevator, that chair, that that rides on the rail. I need to get me one of those. Yeah, I need one of those. One from the front, front door. Yeah. Yeah. Can you own it in the house? Just pick me up at yeah. Just pick me up at the car and just, just roll me on there. Give me an escalator or something. But we value money. And like you said, right now, everybody would love to have more money. But wisdom is more important than money. Because like I said, if you buy all of that house, that's all that land, you got to keep it up. You got to pay somebody. And, and, and it's fine as long as you got the money. You giving somebody else a job, that's good. Yeah. But somebody got to clean the house. And you're not going to go in about one or two, three rooms. Like I said, the older you get, it's going to be kitchen and the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> three rooms. <laughs> kitchen, bedroom, and the bathroom. You might sit in the living room or the den. You might stay in the den because that's that's probably where you'll flop down. <laughs> that's probably where you'll flop down and you rest. rest yeah. <laughs> sit down right here for a little while. Yeah, but it, it it the question is, wisdom is the principal thing, but what is more important to us? A lot of people like fame. You know, everybody wanna be, you know, well known. Movie star. You know, but fame and fortune won't get you, but so far, you know, your good look was only get you so far. Amen. You know, a lot of people, they, everybody want romance. Everybody want someone to love. Amen. Somebody, somebody know that. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for a look, but first you need to get wisdom. And understanding, first, you know, when you talk about looking for romance and love, y'all don't know about that, but for those that done got to that point, dealing with folks, learning their ways, you have a knockout, drag out, fall out, and then having that to deal with somebody else, and you start that cycle all over again. But if you use wisdom, when you're searching for somebody, then you will less likely become unequally yoked. You know, it's, you know, everybody looking for love. I, I'm about, I'm about tired of these TV shows because even though the writers and the movie people come coming back, they they can't make good movies no more. They can't make good sitcoms no more. They're making all of these. Bachelor, bachelorette. <laughs> they even got an older, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, trying to get their romance on. You too old for this foolishness. If you are wise, if you are wise when you were coming up, you wouldn't do certain things. Amen, somebody. I mean, you wish, you wish, you wish you had a got wisdom long time ago. Where you had to go through that romance stage, and I'm, I, I, everybody been through it. Everybody been through it. Amen. 
but wisdom should be our top priority. Uh, Solomon, he sought, he sought for wisdom from God and God blessed him with more. So wisdom will give you life and it'll give you more than you really ask for. Verse eight says, exalt her. So when we get wisdom, we should prop her up. We should be glad to have her and she shall promote the wisdom will get you a long way. Wisdom will take you a long way. She, she shall bring the honor. <clears throat> Wisdom, wisdom will bring you honor when 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 you when you when you when you get a hold of her. Go to somebody somebody go to first king. Exalt her and she will promote you. And, 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 and even even when we're talking about what 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 is more important to us or the principal thing to us, a lot of people like to have promotions on jobs. Whether it's paying as much as it should just to be in a position, yeah, just, to just to have that power, have that authority, have that title. A lot of people, they want to be in position. What does 1 Kings 3, verse 7 through 12 say? Thank you, Lord. My God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in, and thy servant is, uh, is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give them for thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern, mm -hmm. discern between good and bad, for who is able to judge this thy so great a people. And the speech pleased the Lord, and Solomon had asked this thing, and God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and, ha and has not asked for thy long life, neither has asked riches for thyself, nor has asked the life of thy enemies, but has asked for thyself understanding and discern judgment. I mean, understanding to discern judgment. I mean, 12. 12 and 13. Yeah, 12. Yeah, 12. Mm -hmm. Behold, I have done I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise like unto thee. Yeah. So God will promote you. Notice that Solomon was a young kid, mm -hmm. and God put him over a multitude of people, a whole big group of people, to whereas you can't number. And because Solomon didn't ask for a long life, and it made me wonder about, I feel kind of bad right there because he said, he said, he told Solomon, said, because you didn't ask for a long life, you didn't ask for money, riches, and and, and good health. I, I feel kind of good. I must, I must be asking the Lord for the wrong thing. So because Solomon didn't ask for that, he asked for wisdom and understanding. God promoted him above his dead David and gave him more than what he asked for. So wisdom will put you in a position into a place where it will promote you. Back to Proverbs 4, chapter verse, verse 10. She, verse 9 says, she shall give to thine head an ointment. Verse 9 says, she shall give to thine head an ointment of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. The ornament or a crown means that God's grace and favor are visible 
in your life. And when, when you got wisdom, God grace and God favor is upon you. Look at verse 10. Verse 10 says, here. And we, we really need to pay attention uh, because like I said, even when people are trying to tell us and share wisdom with us, here, the father was trying to get the son attention. He said, here, oh my son, and receive my saying. And the years of thy life shall be many. In verses 10 through 13, if you receive and take firm hold of wisdom lesson, it'll give you long life. Not only long life, but it'll also avoid, it'll, it'll keep you out of bad places. It'll, it'll, it'll cause you to avoid wicked people. Look at it and say, it say, here, oh my son, and receive my sin, and the years of thy life shall be many. And and like I said, <clears throat> stop by, stop by Sister, Sister Natalie Freeman. And oftentimes we wonder, a lot of people wonder, what do you do to live a long life? Everybody got their answer. Oh, I, I, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't swear, I don't cuss, I go to church, I do this and I do that. On the other hand, somebody said, well, I drink a glass of wine every day. I dance and I do this and I do that. You know, everybody got their own opinion or their thought to why they have lived a long life. But if you get wisdom, wisdom, as the scripture says right here, it will give you long life. It'll, it'll cause you to have a long life. Verse 11 says, verse 11 says, I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right path. The father, whether it's the father or the mother, they really should lead the children. They should teach them the right way. Amen. Uh, you know, I, I'll listen to a conversation. I'll listen to a conversation and and well, I really want to listen to a conversation. I couldn't avoid the conversation. I was in, I was in the hallway, and a person person was on the phone. And they were just shouting because tell her to do this X Y Z A B C L to lead that. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> you the parent, you should pull that child aside and share with them. Wisdom and knowledge. Quit yelling at folks. That was just my thinking. I might have been wrong, but that's just my. But we ought to teach people the right way, whether they hear it, whether they want to hear it or not. Uh, I, I'm having that conversation, uh, and we have this conversation often. We, as we get older, when we learn better, we try to share wisdom and knowledge with people, but people don't want to hear you. But it's our place to teach and tell people right from wrong. Amen? As the scriptures say, if they don't want to hear you, you shake the very dust off your feet and move on. Amen? Well, we done our part by, by telling them. Verse 12 says, when thou goest, thou steps shall not be straight. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Amen? Amen. So, so if you if you take hold of wisdom, wherever you go, it'll lead you down the straight path. It, it won't it won't take you it won't take you it won't take you in, into wicked places and places where where you don't have any business going. Uh, take fast hold of instruction. In verse thirteen. Here, Solomon is encouraging his son to take hold of the good and warn not to even try to do that which is bad. Have you ever noticed a lot of time, parents, when you were coming up and you hang out with that bad crowd or somebody they didn't think was good enough to be hanging around with you, and they'll say, Baby, I want you hanging around with so and so, so and so. 
Oh, my mom, they ain't not wrong with them. Yeah, but it's just something ain't right about, about, about them. They see certain things about them and they try to steer you from going down the wrong wrong path. So we got to learn how to how to pay attention and listening to keep us from stumbling or going down the wrong way. Look at verse, look at verse, uh, take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go keep her for she is thy life. Verse 14 says, enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Go to Matthew 7 and 14. Matthew 7 and 14. Are you with me, Kay? Almost. <laughs> Almost. Matthew 7 and 14. Okay. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. Amen. Straight and narrow is the way. So living a, a righteous life going and doing what is right it's like going down a road it's like walking out in this field here and people that walk down a straight path always trying to do it right you'll see you'll see just one trail that they're walking one path where they're walking but if you notice a pathway where the grass has been ran down and it's nothing but dirt. Somebody done travel that road on a regular basis. That's the way it is with wicked and evil ways. Many people go down the wrong path. That road has been traveled a lot. It'll, it'll, it'll walk all the grass off. It'll end up being nothing but dirt. I got in my driveway, I got I got one one concrete, and the other one is 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 more or less dirt. I, I put down some some crushed ruins, some dirt, some. But yet, when 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 you, we 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 come out that way more, so the dirt, the ran over. It used to be grass, so coming out of that out of that driveway on a regular basis, it done wore the grass out where the tires ruin. But in the middle, where the tires don't run over, it's still grass. That's the way it is in life. People go down the wrong road where evil and wrongdoing is because a lot of people don't want to do what is right. Amen? Get back to, let me get back to Proverbs. Back to Proverbs. Enter, not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men. Psalms 1 Psalms 1 verse 1 what does it say? Psalms 1 Psalms number 1 and verse 1 Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yeah, so you are blessed or, or the man or woman, whoever, don't walk or follow the way of the wicked. They are really blessed they are happy they are joyful they are satisfied because you know it'll keep you out of trouble so you you, you really are blessed when you when you don't go down the path of wrongdoing 
or hanging out with, with evil people. Some people stay up all night long trying to do evil. <laughs> Some people, that's all, that's all, that's the only job they got. Avoid it. Pass not by. Verse 15 says. Pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. Have you ever have you ever have you ever been going somewhere and you saw, say if say for instance, you were driving down the highway and you saw a roadblock. Sister Neil, Sister Neil, Sister Neil shared this with me yesterday. She was she was on the way home and they was they were working on the road and they had the roadblock. You know how they stand up there with a sign they, they have one lane open and they'll stop you. And she goes, Oh, I should have went the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so if you know trouble is down the road, if you know some people are on their way to do some wicked, some low down, you need to stop. Don't go, don't go down the road with them. Don't pass it. Don't turn. Just, just get away from them. Pass not by. Don't, don't even, don't even, don't even be caught up with them. Uh, I, I shared this about. I can't understand how people get caught up in this smash and grab. Mm -hmm. Have you ever noticed how many people are out there? How do they get caught up in something like that? Even on the internet nowadays, and 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 on the, on these uh on these uh Facebook and these challenges that they they put up, you have so many people get caught up in trying these different challenges, to whereas some of them are fatal and and, and, and cause people to get killed. So the Bible tells us not to go that way. Don't even pass by. Turn around. Don't even try. Verse, verse 16 says, For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. Like I said, you got so many low-down people in this world. Proverbs, like I said, Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verses 16 through 19, it tells you why you should avoid the wicked path. You got so many, you got so many evil people in this world that they stay up all night long trying to figure out how to scam somebody, how to try to beat somebody out of money. But they sleep not, except they have done mischief. Uh, people will stay up all night long trying to figure out how they can get you back. Get you back. The last thing I do. And their sleep is taken away. It's bad when you got so much evil and hateful in your heart or evil to do something wrong that you can't sleep at night. It says, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fail. Can't rest. Unrestful. Just, just evil and low down people. They, 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 they just foolish. They, they stay up and try to do people wrong more than they're trying to help somebody. Verse 17 says, for they, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. They are out to hurt somebody, to do somebody wrong. They ain't satisfied. You know, some people just seem like all they want to do is fuss, fight, argue. They ain't never happy because they are not happy. They want you to be miserable or they want to they want to harm you. Verse 18 says, but the path of the just is as the shining light. Matthews, Matthews 5 and 16, what that says. Let your light so shine before men that they might see your good works and glorify your Father, which it is in heaven. Amen. We're supposed to let our light shine before men. You know, you don't you don't supposed to you don't supposed to hide your good work, what you're doing, and really you don't supposed to brag about it. But you should do good before other people. So they'll see the good in you and they say, you know, that, that, that really is a good person right there. I might need to hang out with them and 
see what they're doing right so so I can learn. If people see you doing good, it'll make it should it should make it don't work sometimes. <laughs> Opposite always have a way of attracting. A person that do wicked, they see somebody that doing good, it should make them want to do good. Amen. But yet, but yet. Sometimes the one that's doing good, when they start hanging around with the bad person, that bad person start rubbing off on them. But we are supposed to let our light shine before them. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more until the perfect day. Matthew 7, Matthew 7 and 13. The strength gate for for wide is the gate, and broad. broad is the way of the of the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go into into in threat. Mm -hmm. And but the path of the. Verse 18 says, but the path of the just is as the shining light that shined more and more until the perfect day. Uh, Psalms, Psalms, Psalms 119, 105, uh, very, very, very familiar passage of scripture. Psalms 119, which is one of the longest chapters of the Bible, Psalms 119. Verse 105. That word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Yeah, the light that God's word is a lamp unto our feet, it should guide us in the right way, and it should be a light unto our path. Even though we go into dark places, it should lighten the way for us. It should lead us in in a way to where we won't go into darkness. Boy, we can say, look where he brought us from. He brought us out of darkness into the marvelous light. Amen. Verse 19 says, the way of the wicked is as darkness. John 12. 35, John 12, 35. They know not at what they stumble. John 12, 35. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while you have the light. Let darkness come upon you, for the walk in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth. Yeah, it's just like walking, just like walking in a in a in a, in a house at night, and you forgot to leave the lights on. <laughs> you 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 sitting down, reaching and stumbling over stuff. So you have to walk while the light is with you. You got to walk while Jesus or even the Spirit is with you. And, and a lot of people are walking in this world without the Lord. They are walking in darkness. They are like blind because they don't know where they're going. One more. Chapter 12. Chapter 12, verse 46. What that one say? Chapter 12, verse 46. Verse 46. Uh-huh. John 12th chapter, verse 46, verse 46. A light is too well that whosoever believes on me should not abide in darkness. That's a powerful, that's a powerful uh, scripture right there. Jesus came into the world as the light of the world, but the world did not accept him. Listen, 
how many times when you stop somebody and want to talk to them about Jesus or even inviting them to church and they act like they don't want to be bothered. They don't want to hear you. When the world is in darkness, when people are doing wrong, they are blind, they are in the dark. But Jesus said he came a light in the world, but the world did not want to receive him. That whosoever believed on him should not abide. One thing for sure, if you got Jesus, you will come out of darkness. You can't, you can't come in contact with Jesus. You can't know the Lord in the free part of your sin and keep on living the same way. Amen? There ought to come a change about you when you come in contact with Jesus. Everybody that Jesus uh, touched or met, they changed their life. And it is, you, you do have to, it's a process, but yet, you ought to change when you really get to know the Lord. Verse 19 says, the wicked, the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. Verse 20 says, my son, attend to my words. Here, 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 here. He's once again trying to get the son attention to pay attention to his word and listen real closely. He says, incline thine ear unto my saying. Verse 21, he says, let them not depart from thine eyes. Boy, we can get in trouble with our eyes. Somebody ought to say something. Let, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Your ears and your eyes will get you into trouble. Yes, they will. We matter of fact, speaking of ears, who are we listening to? So true. Who who do who got who have our attention? Who have our ears? Someone that's doing evil or someone that's trying to do right. And like I say, we see other people especially the wicked. We see them prospering and seeing them doing wrong. And, you know, we go like, where they, where they get their money from? How they get that? So they said, every time I try to do right, even on the other side. Oh. <laughs> and that's so that's a true scripture. Every time you want to do right, evil is present on every hand because it seems like those that are not living for God, they have seem like they're living a better life. They have more material things. Yes, they don't go to church. Yeah. Yeah, how they how they get so much? And here, here, here we as Christians, we we struggling, we don't have much. But the blessing it is that God keep us and God keep on providing for us. Even though we look at the material things and want more material things. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. And sometimes you even wonder, Lord, when is my time coming? Way of the wicked is as darkness, you know not. And what they stumble, my son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto my saying. Verse 21 says, Let them not depart from thine eyes, keep them. In the midst of thine heart. In verse 20 through 22, it is a plea to be heard. You know, sometimes you have to really keep on, you know, drilling people to get them to pay attention. You know, I'm pretty sure mama, mama, mama probably told me, son, do this, son, don't do that. But sometimes you have to tell people over and over to keep getting their attention. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them and have and health to all their flesh. In Proverbs 4 and 23, it, it talks about it'll keep your heart and and and, and if we have found, if we had a found wisdom 
in our younger days, mm -hmm. it will keep you from having a whole lot of heartaches. Yes. It keep you from having a whole lot of heartaches. David said, creating me a clean heart, oh God, and renew the right spirit in me. He said that in Psalms uh, 51 and 10. So we do have to avoid having a double heart, according to Psalms 12 and 2. You know, some people got a double heart. They 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 easily easily to be pers persuaded. We got to avoid having a hard hearted. A lot of people don't want to hear or even get wisdom and understanding. Or some people got a hard heart where they don't want to listen to folks. They don't want to do what people tell them. They don't want to do God's will. They don't want to do what God say. So if you got a hard heart, you just a you just a hard headed. And 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 you'll find that in Proverbs twenty eight and fourteen, and Proverbs twenty one and and four, it talks about a proud heart. You know, that we have to we have to we have to be real careful about having a proud heart. You know, a lot of time when we get material things or we we get we get a big job or we get promotion or something, you know, we get we get proud. And one thing that God hates is a proud look and a proud heart. You can even have an unbelieving heart. So sometimes you have to ask God to help me in my unbelief. Because sometimes when we go through things, we don't believe, we don't have the faith. So having an unbelief heart as Hebrew 12, Hebrew 3 and 12 talks about it, we, we got to be careful and not have an unbelief heart. Some people got a cold heart. A lot of people got cold heart. It's it's just some cold hearted people that don't nothing phase them. Go to go to go to go to go to go to Matthew twenty four and twelve, and I'm just about through. Matthew twenty four and twelve. Keep thy heart with all diligence. As verse 23 says, for out of it are the issues of life. More than just guarding your heart, you got you to gotta protect it at all costs. What does Matthew 24 and 12 say? And because iniquity shall bow, the love of many shall wax cold. Yeah, many, many people are cold-hearted. People don't love like they used to. People, and we talk about this, we talked about this plenty of time before. People are afraid to love. You know, as 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 Tina, as Tina used to say it, what love got to do with it? You know, people don't honor loving one another no more so we have to be careful that you know our heart don't grow cold uh when people do wrong to us you know sometimes we can get we can get we can build a wall up around us and we can we can we can we can have a cold heart to where we won't love nobody else or we don't want to be bothered with nobody else so you have to be you have to be careful that you don't have a cold heart amen we'll start at verse 24. It, it, it got to deal with how you talk. Verse 24 on next week. Did give us our closing prayer if you, if you will. Thank you for your word. Your word will stand for you. Yes. 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 Yes.
in this final step. Yes. Yes, Father. Want to thank you for the war support be here to be. Yes. We want to thank you for life that we are living in. Yes, Father. We just want to say thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Again, Father. Help we leave this place. You will say that to our home. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one that's on Zoom. Did you have anything you would like to say? Uh, Sister Kay, I did talk with the preacher today okay. as far as the introduction. Uh, one of his members will do the introduction. He didn't give me a name. Just just leave it blank or say just to put a member. Just leave I'll it blank. Just 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 put the introduction, but don't 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 worry about a name there. But it'll be somebody from the church. It'll be somebody from his church, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it's the day your son's birthday too. Today is Sister Nellie's birthday, and today is Freddie Jr. birthday. Okay. It is. Yep, he uh, turned twenty nine today. Twenty nine, yeah. and Sister Nellie turned ninety three. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a blessing. Uh, how old are you, baby? Seven. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Living the best time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Haven't even haven't even learned what life is about. Yes. I remember when I was 27. Can you remember when you were 27? I don't. <laughs> I don't <laughs> my That's how fast it went by. Yeah. Yeah, you can remember something. Yeah. yeah. But boy, you get to be 93. Lord have mercy. I, I remember I remember when I was Yeah. 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 Remember some things of that uh, got married when, when we was 29. I was 20, I was 29, so Neil was 28. Yep. I said when I was 27, I <laughs> wisdom hit me when I was wisdom hit me around that time. I'm coming out of the streets. I got me a part-time job. I went to work, went to bed. That's all I did. Well, life will teach you some stuff. Street will teach you some stuff. <laughs> yes. Yes. So it, yes. it, it's like a light. It's like a light comes on, it, and you, you go like, this, 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 this ain't, this ain't working. This ain't. It, it's got to be something better in life. So you change, you change your lifestyle, and you know, you you grab hold of it, as the scripture tells you, you you keep hold of it, and it'll take you a long way. Stay there too long. <laughs> Stay there too long. Yep. Come in. Finally came in. Some of, them some, of them, some of them don't ever come in. Right it really is. Yes, it is. God bless all y'all on Zoom. Y'all have a a good weekend. We love y'all. Good night. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs>